Hello everyone and welcome. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Cosmina and in today's video we're gonna do a video that uh, it's gonna be a little juicy with some questions about myself, some nice ones, some crazy ones, some funny ones. So if you're up for that, go ahead and keep on watching. Alright, so I have 15 questions that I want to answer, but first let me introduce myself a little bit, give you a little bit of background. I don't know how long have you been watching my videos, but yeah, my name is Cosmina. I am Romanian and I moved to United States six years ago. Yeah, my uh, anniversary is coming soon in a few days. But uh, yeah, it's been six years since I've been here. I've been doing a lot of things <laughs> to improve my English. And one of the reasons why this uh, channel is up, it's because of that, but also because I absolutely love makeup. But in today's video, I'm just going to answer a few crazy questions. And I hope you're up for that. So let's start with the very first question. All right, so very first question, um, one thing on my bucket list. So there were a few things on my bucket list before. Uh, one of them was to actually go to London, believe it or not, and uh, I achieved that one. Second one was to get to Hawaii. I took that one off of the list. Third one was to fly in a hot air balloon took that one off the list but the one that i always had and i almost almost got it um was to go to japan to hiroshima and nagasaki because i actually did study history back in romania and i absolutely love history and i would love to see the place where the first nuclear bomb hit and i would just freaking love to be there just kind of feel that vibe and just kind of take all that in and we did went to Japan this year very early this year in January that was the last trip we took for the year and hopefully we can take trips again next year but uh, we only went to uh, Tokyo we weren't able to go all the way to Hiroshima or Nagasaki that was not on our plan for this year hopefully next year we might be able to do that but that's on my bucket list um next one of my favorite things to do <laughs> so one of my favorite things to do is definitely putting makeup every morning it's kind of like a ritual for me you know it's like it's like a pep talk right you know like it's like oh you can do this you can do this bullshit life you can do this job you can do you can go out there and start driving today you can do this that's how it is that's like my favorite thing for me makeup is like a pep talk right it's giving me confidence it's pushing me outside of my comfort zone um but also another real thing that i absolutely love to do is shopping Shopping, therapy, woof, woof, so good. And uh, painting, I love painting. Three, one thing that you can't live without. Well, that's, <laughs> that's an embarrassing one, but I cannot live without bread, okay? I absolutely freaking love bread. So this is the, the, the back story to this, okay? Back when, <laughs> when I grew up, um, I remember going to my grandma's house and we were a bunch of cousins. I think there were like eight of us and we weren't, I wasn't, I didn't grow up in a, in a rich family. We were kind of poor. So every time my grandmother would make food, she would try to make enough for all eight of us, you know, cause we'll go there during holidays or, or like vacation time or stuff like that. So, um, when she would feel like she doesn't have enough food uh she would say just eat more bread that that's just gonna 
that's just gonna uh, supplement the food and it's gonna fill up your belly <laughs> so uh, that's how I grew up okay so bread it's one of the, those things that I cannot take it out of my uh, diet it's it's so hard because I know it's so bad but uh, I just can't I, I can't do it I can't I can't do it um, Four. I look what I look up to or what I used to look up to. So this is the thing, like both of my grandmothers were very, very strong women and I always looked up to them. I'm not talking about, um, but no, I'm not talking about, I'm sorry about my dog. I'm not talking, so when I'm saying about strong, I'm, I'm literally saying strong. These are women that live in, in very difficult times and they were able to make houses with their own hands uh, and they were able to raise kids in very difficult times with barely anything and uh, I always looked up to them and I, I wish in my lifetime to be at least... 25 percent as uh, strong as they were during their life unfortunately uh, both of them passed away but I always carry them in myself um, next uh, what I would most like like to be remembered for my perseverance for sure um, I'm a, I like to um, work <laughs> first of all I, I love to work. But second of all, it, the thing is, I want to achieve goals and I want to, um, I appreciate a challenge, you know, but I really don't give up. A lot of times I don't give up and sometimes I feel like maybe I should give up at certain things with certain areas or certain uh, aspects that I'm trying to get, but I don't, I just don't. I. I'm, I'm stubborn. So I would definitely like to be uh, remembered as uh, for my perseverance, for sure. Uh, seven, if I won the lottery, what would be the first thing I would buy? Now, the first, first thing I would buy, so this is, a, this is like a crazy thing in Romanian thing. I'm not sure if it's in a, a different con culture or not. But I remember when I first took my first job, my mom told me, first thing you have to buy with your money. And, and this is like a ritual in my every single time I'm uh, getting to a different uh, job is you have to buy salt and you have to buy bread. And it's like, you'll be like, salt and bread? What the heck? What you do? So apparently in our tradition, Salt and bread, uh, they bring like prosperity or things like that. So that would be the first thing I would buy with the lottery money, okay? That would be the first thing. The second one, maybe I will get something for my parents. I'm not, I don't have anything like huge on my list that I want to buy with a lottery. But I probably put a lot of this money, I will, I will actually invest them, not necessarily spend them. Um, if I could win a lifetime supply of one type of clothing, it would be shoes. I have so many pair of shoes and I just, I love shoes. I love shoes. I love so many, 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 many. I, I think I would buy, I think I, I would love to get a new pair maybe every day or something like that. So that's, that's, that's what it is. Shoes. I love shoes. Okay. Um, oh, crazy things I love to eat. Okay, so these are things that, I, I mean, for me, I wasn't sure this was so, I was not aware this was so crazy, okay? I wasn't, I wasn't aware that putting ketchup on your pizza is crazy, it's considered crazy. Not in Romania, it's not. That's how I love to eat my pizza, with ketchup. <laughs> um, another thing that I truly know, it's kind of sounds so weird and so bizarre, but I love to eat nuts with apples and bread it sounds weird right but try it try it it's so freaking good so delicious and then another thing that is a very romanian tradition we eat pork skin <sighs> so good 
so 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 good okay <laughs> i know some people be like Ugh, but no it's so good <laughs> 10 i can't stand it when somebody tells me when somebody tells me i can't do something it, i just it drives me nuts it drives me nuts when somebody tells me i can accomplish i cannot accomplish something and i'm like a bitch <laughs> watch me okay watch me all right so <laughs> that's the one 11 um dark time in your life i gotta be early 20s uh that was the hardest time in my lifetime i was figuring out who i am what i want to be why the society is not working the way i thought it was working why things are not fair it was hard it was a really hard time in my life and i'm glad i passed that i'm glad i'm past that okay let's just say it that way next uh embarrassing moment oh shit i really this one the, <laughs> this one this one this one it was the worst okay so this was, I think it was like in 18, maybe. And, um, well, my mom was not at home. My parents were not at home. I had my boyfriend at my place and we did what I usually do. And we had a condom and we threw it in the garbage and my mom found it. And she confronted me with it. So I... Not a good time. Uh, who's the messiest person you know? My sister. Shit. She is the messiest person I know. She loves to whore things. She loves to... She's just like... She thinks she's going to utilize everything at some point in time. She doesn't want to throw anything. And because of that, there's a lot of clutter. So, yeah. It's definitely my sister. Um, what's the most useless talent do you have? <laughs> I cannot build furniture for the life of me. I cannot do it. I cannot follow instruction step by step, like especially very rigorous instructions. That's just not my thing. So building furniture, I can't do it. I, no, I can't do that. Okay, the last one what's the best purchase and the worst purchase you ever done okay so this one it's funny but definitely best purchase i mean, it's not just mine mine and my husband our best purchase was our house i absolutely love it but the worst purchase this one took me a little bit to think about but i thought wait a second let's think about makeup what item was it this year that you hated so much that you wanted to cry? And that, my friend, it is CoverGirl Skin Milk Foundation. <sighs> that foundation looked like shit on my face. It was horrible. So every time I was watching somebody reviewing it, I would yell at the phone or at whatever device I was watching it on saying, no, that is shit. That is not true. That foundation is not good. Why are you saying it's good? Why are you saying it's good? That is not good. That is shit. That is shit. That is shit. So that is the worst purchase, at least for myself, for 2020. Thank you so much for watching this. Please give this video a thumbs up if you really enjoy it. And I will see you all next time with another video. Bye.